If you were licking it's the cat. I swear. Hello my lovely nestlings and welcome to today's video where I'm going to chat about eyeshadow palettes Mainly 10 eyeshadow palettes that I pulled from my collection And I'm going to discuss if I would repurchase them or not now that I have formed my complete opinion and all that I just want to talk about makeup, that's it And if you are new, welcome, my name is Nikki, I'm 46 from the Netherlands, hence the accent And if you love to talk about makeup too, if you want to hear about brands that no one else is talking about And if you are... Slightly older and mm, slightly orcish like me Then this is the channel for you Subscribe now, become part of my nestlings Because we are having a blast here on the internet Let me explain the slightly orcish The slightly older I don't have to explain, right? <laughs> slightly orcish, I'm green I'm olive That's that's the slightly orcish part, yes uh, I stole this idea From Dolly Mama Beauty And I will leave her channel down below She recently did a collab with Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner And I will link Annette's channel down below as well Where they discussed palettes from their collection And if they would repurchase or not Well actually Dolly Mama has a whole series on her channel about this So go check her out definitely Because she has so many fun videos on her channel Go check out both ladies And tell them that I sent you um, Let's start though with what I have on my eyes I did film this look It's one of the looks that I'm uh, that I did with the Nomad Paradise Island palette So that's All live on my channel already and I will link it underneath the cards Let's just get into the video I have pulled random things And I'm just going to start with the one that I have up top Which is from Juvia's Place Which is the Violets And I will list all the palettes down below I don't think that they are all available anymore But I will try to link as many as I can So the Violets by Juvia's Place Would I repurchase this again? Looking at it Um, if I were to have asked myself this two weeks ago I would probably have said no Now that I'm looking at it I'm like yeah Yeah I would I uh, I had When I bought this I really had a purple face And right now I'm in a very green face But I still really love these tones So I have decluttered some purple palettes But these tones which are the The more bl the blurples I love the blurples I love the blurples more than the pinky purples Or the I cannot make that into a different word If I play with this palette I don't play with these these two So I, I get that So it could have been a quad But still There is just something about the aesthetic of this That Yes, yes I would repurchase this um, Okay The next that I have here is the Wild Tiger palette from Huda Beauty I really do like how it looks on the outside Now this is the only Huda Beauty palette that I have And I really wanted to try her formula Would I buy this again though? Um, I love the I love the color story of this I love the color story of this But honestly I think I think I would pass um, And why am I saying that? Yeah, I love the color story I said that, right? It is really up my alley right now The formula was nice too What? I don't know, I think I have this I, I know I have this strewn about in other palettes That I maybe like the formula of a little bit more um, And also a little bit of price point Because I have this color story in different types of palettes Also uh, more affordable palettes That I actually grab over this one So while I think that the formula is nice I think you can get at least similar for cheaper So I I am very happy that I have it in my collection But I I don't think that I would um, buy this one again No, I don't think I would Let's next go to Makeup Revolution And from Makeup Revolution I pulled the Joker palette from their collab with Batman I love the artwork This just... I really, really love it I think that the quality is very, very nice as well Would I repurchase this uh, though? I don't think so When I used this palette, I had a lot of fun So I think quality-wise, it's very, very nice uh, One of my favorites of Makeup Revolution And I, I really do like the quality of this The color story um, I like as well But... 
I don't know. I wish this would have been a matte, the blue. Um, because I don't use blues like that often. And then I would have loved, I don't know, the red to be a shimmer. Or maybe the orange to be a shimmer. Uh, these two are... Um, there is a difference. But on the eye, they kind of melt together a little bit more. So maybe this, um, maybe this one lighter or something like that. So... There are definitely things that I would tweak about this. And also the fact that I have this. I have this colors. I'm, I'm kind of going to quote Annette. Annette said, I have the Blend Bunny palette. The search palette from Blend Bunny. I have all the shades that I need. And I kind of agree with her because that quality. I got it as a gift. But that quality is amazing. So, and, and I have this there as well. So while I really do like it. And I'm very happy that I have it in my collection. And if you like the color story. I don't think you would be disappointed. I won't repurchase. No, I wouldn't repurchase it a second time. No. Okay, let's next go to a brand that I really, really love. And that's Lethal Cosmetics. And the palette that came up was the Berlin palette. Which is funny because it's currently my favorite palette from them. I do have the, as I'm filming this, the new one in my house here. I haven't played with that one yet. But yeah, the Berlin palette. Would I repurchase this? Yes. And there, there are reasons for that. First off... The reason that I purchased this initially was a twofold. I love Lethal Cosmetics and the Berlin Wall. It's just my it's my generation that it fell, right? I it fell in 89. I was there. Well, not there physically. I watched it live on the news. My husband was actually there when it fell. Uh, he's not from Germany, but he was there and that just It was so, so significant that for, for honestly, that reason, I bought it. And I love Lethal. So those were the two reasons. Now, let's go to the rest then. So here is she is. And then this is the... Can we open up, please? Really? Thank you. This is the color story, which for Lethal is very... A lot of the time for Lethal, I feel at least, and I love the brand and I love the formula, but for Lethal, a lot of the time, it's their, their shadows are, uh, the colors are not as saturated, if that makes any sense at all. I feel like there's a certain depth that they are lacking. I, I'm looking for the word, uh, but I cannot find it. So there is that. These though, they surprised me so, so much. The quality of this, the formula of this, I love with a passion. Yes, yes. I would definitely, definitely repurchase in a heartbeat. Okay. Then I have Glam Shop, the Morlova palette. And Morlova is, if I'm not mistaken, apricot. And Glam Shop is a um, Polish in the brand, the Morlova palette. So this is the color story of the Morlova. I love the quality and I really like the color story. But would I repurchase? I don't think so. And that is not quality at all because quality, the quality, if you've never tried Glam Shop before, you're missing out, honestly. And I really had a lot of fun with this palette. For me, it does lack a certain... Honestly, I kind of wish that, that this one, or, or the light uh, pink, that, that there was a darker orange in here that I could deepen it up a little bit with. Um, or that, that this one, for instance, was a matte instead of a shimmer, because the darkest one in here is a shimmer, and I like to darken up with a matte. That's just personal preference. But yeah, I think that color story... Because of the color story, I don't think that I would repurchase this particular palette. But I have it, and... Yeah. She's stunning. But no, I, I don't think that I would repurchase this particular palette. Okay, then let's go to Catrice. Uh, because I pulled the palette from Catrice as well. I pulled the Pro Slim Neon Earth. First off, the quality is I really, really like. Uh, this was the first... This one and the Next Gen Nude were the first of the Pro Slim palettes that they came out with. And the quality... They really stepped up their game. So here is the color story. It's a very, very neutral color story, right? You have the warmer neutrals here, uh, mid-toned, and then you have lighter ones here. I was very pleased. I actually did, I did videos with everything that I'm uh, mentioning today. But 
I was pleasantly surprised with the depth that I could that I could create in this palette. Um, the lighter ones, I, I actually don't think that I would repurchase this. Honestly, what I want to play with is here. Um, and I have that in other palettes as well. Will I get rid of it? No, because I want to keep the complete I'm kind of a completionist as well. but So I'm very happy that I tried it. And that made me fall in love with Catrice's eyeshadow formula all over again. Um, but I don't... No, I I would not... I, I Okay, so I would repurchase it. If, if I lost it, I would repurchase it because I would want to keep the collection complete. <laughs> so it's cheating. Um, but as a standalone palette... If I let it, if I break it apart from the collection, no, I don't, no, I would not repurchase this. Others, yes, from, from their line, but this one, no, no, no. Okay, then I'm going to go to uh, the Flower Punk palette from Max Up The Makeup. And there is not a lot of, I, I, I don't really know, they still exist. Max Up The Makeup still exists, but uh, they haven't come out with a new eyeshadow palette in a few years. Um, and I know that the owner is pretty young. He was still in school, so maybe that and COVID has something to do with it. I hope that they will release something soon again, because they're just such a cool brand. And the Flower Child palette, it's I had two palettes from them. This is the only palette that I have left, and I would repurchase this. This, the whole aesthetic... This just makes me so, so happy to look at. It just, it lifts my spirits. And I really, really like the color story of this too. I really do like it. I like the, it. It's, I understand if it lacks depth for certain people. I get enough variety. The quality was so good. And I can do a lot of things. I love to pair uh, pink and green. And this is a matte and this is a shimmer. And that is what makes this palette so cool for me. Because I also love orange and green. I love that there is one matte and then a shimmer. Because if I want to mix the two together, it won't work. But this way, I can very easily do the, the color combinations that I love to do. The quality of this was so, so good. Yeah, that, that I would definitely, definitely repurchase this palette. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, the next palette that I'm going to mention is from V Cosmetics. I do have a discount code with V Cosmetics. I actually... Um, I got this palette in PR, but I was going to purchase it with my own money. And she decided to gift it to me in PR. So that was extremely sweet of her. V Cosmetics is a UK-based indie brand. It's one of my favorite brands. And I love the artwork of this. I love the aesthetic of this a lot. A lot. The quality chef's kiss. This is an all matte palette. And the ease that I could create all the looks with. But I would not repurchase. And the only reason that I would not repurchase is because of the color story. For me, at least right now, it is a little bit too much pinky red leaning. But that's me. I will, I will not get rid of this, but... Yeah, the, the quality. Uh, it's a black woman owned brand. So what? why do I say this? These shades will not be ashy. Even though the, this is a light gray, it won't be ashy uh, on a darker skin tone. And it's it's a stunning quality. It's an all matte palette. But yeah, for, for me, what I basically want to play with is, is the top row. Because I'm more into the cool tones right now. I'm not really... Yeah, Saying having a peachy pink on my eyes. But I love a peachy pink more right now. Than these type of berry pinks. So for that reason. I would not repurchase this particular palette. Yeah. Weird. Um, okay let's go to Kaleidos. Because I pulled from Kaleidos the Flower Punk palette. I love the palette. I, I love what they are doing with this. I love the artwork. I love the fact that you can just. Pull it apart. I love the color story. Um, but would I repurchase? Yeah, I, I would. Because it's just such an interesting color story. With uh, Here you have the minties. And then, uh, yes, you have some pinks as well. But here you get the yellowy greens. Then some greens. I don't know. There's just something about this color story. 
that it it just really really speaks to me. The only only shade I was not really a fan of was the shade the shade stained stained glass because it's just not a shade that I I have so much of these. So yeah, that's that's the only shade that I'm kind of mad about in this palette. But yeah, I I would I would repurchase just the complete the the completeness of this and the fact that it is just such an interesting co color story. That color story just does something to me every time I look at the palette. I get happy. So yes, I would repurchase that. Then the last one I'm going to mention is from Beauty Bay. It's the Wilderness palette, and this one is no longer available. I'm really on the one hand, I want to say, yes, I will repurchase because it's a very, very interesting color story. And it is. And I love the formula as well. But on the other hand, I, when I pulled this, I was like, yeah, this is going to be one that I would repurchase. But honestly, I don't think I would. No. Um, why am I saying that? Because... I have the colors in other palettes. I have the subculture that I love with a passion. But, uh, and I really do like the formula of this. But I have this in other palettes that I grab for over this one. So, no. I, I don't think that I would repurchase this one if uh, push comes to shove. So, yeah, that was interesting. That was fun. This was a very, very fun um fun video to do let me know if um if you agree let me maybe know some of your picks um would you have um repurchased some that i uh, would not and vice versa and this is all in good fun right because these balance aren't going anywhere but it's just a very very fun way to go over your collection and look at things differently that's also why i love ranking videos for instance i'm going to do more of these because i think they're very very fun Yes, so thank you so, so much, uh, Dolly Mama, for coming up with this idea that I could steal from you. Um, thank you so, so much for watching. And if you like the video, oh yeah, and don't forget to check out both ladies, right? Uh, subscribe if you haven't, if you aren't already. Tell them that I sent you. And um, yeah, if you have any video ideas for me, let me know down below as well. Then this is going to be it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'm going to wish you a fantastic day, a fabulous evening. May your foundations always match your neck. And I will see you very, very soon for another video. Bye guys.